Hello friends and viewers. Today in this video, I'm going to show you the cytokine receptor and their classification. Cytokines are mainly small proteins, normally 5 to 20 kilodalton, and they are very important in the cell signaling. They are produced from the immunological and non-immunological cell and they act on the cell itself that produce the cytokine which is called the autocrine signaling and also affect the nearby cells which is called paracrine signaling and endocrine signaling when one cell produce the cytokine and travel through the blood and act on the distant cell in the body. Cytokine may include the chemokines, interferons, interleukins, lymphokine and tumor necrosis factor. But they are different from the hormones. There are four types of cytokine receptor plus chemokine receptors. So total five types of cytokine receptors. The first one is the type 1 cytokine receptor. Second one is the type 2 cytokine receptor. Third one is the TNF receptor family. Fourth one is IL-1 receptor family. And the fifth one is the chemokine receptor. These five types of cytokine receptor have the different structural features and some have the common downstream signaling pathway or the different signaling pathway. So first the type 1 cytokine receptor which is also called the hematopoietin receptor because it also helps for the hematopoiesis. And this type 1 cytokine receptor have two conjured pair of cysteine in extracellular domain. This is the extracellular domain. And you can see here that two pair, that means total four conjured cysteine residue are found in the extracellular domain. And the membrane proximal domain which has got the special sequence called the WSXWS or the WS motif. This is the synonym of the tryptophan serine any residue of amino acid and tryptophan serine sequence. This conserved sequence is only found in the type 1 cytokine receptor. And this specific sequence helps for the molecular switching of the off state and the on state when the cytokine bind to its receptor. And only type 1 cytokine bind in this type 1 cytokine receptor. If you see my previous video or any textbook or any video that how cytokines are classified, then you can see that there are four types of cytokine and among them the type 1 cytokine who is binds in this type 1 cytokine receptor. And this type 1 cytokine receptor are also classified as a three subfamilies. The first one is the IL-2 receptor subfamily. Second one is the granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor receptor subfamily. And the third one is the IL-6 receptor subfamily. The IL-2 receptor subfamily have the common gamma chain in their receptor. And especially this type of receptor always have more than one component of the receptor. And the second one is the GM CSF receptor family have the common beta chain. IL-6 receptor subfamily have the common GP130 chain. And here you can see that the, how the common gamma chain is distributed among the type 1 subfamilies of the receptor. Here you can see that the IL-2, IL-4, 7, 9 and 15, 21 bind to different types of receptor of the cell surface but all these receptor have the common gamma chain and for the specific cytokine they bind to also a specific receptor subunit or the polypeptide 
which constitute the specific receptor for that cytokine. For example, IL-2 binds to the IL-2 receptor alpha chain, beta chain and the common gamma chain. Gamma C is for the common gamma chain and in the right side of the figure you can see that this is the alpha chain structurally and this is the beta chain and this is the common gamma chain and this type of cytokine and the cytokine receptor express in different type of immunological cell for example IL-2 produced by the T cell can bind to the cell surface membrane receptor expressed by the T cell, B cell and NK cell and this signal is transmitted by the STAT5, STAT1 and STAT3. STATs are the signal transducer and activator of transcription protein family and they are activated by the genus kinase and most of the cytokine signaling is transmitted inside of the cell by this genus kinase and STAT family of protein which is called jack stat pathway. In this way, every cytokine have a specific producer of that cytokine and bind to a specific cell surface and exert their function. Next is the granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor subfamily. In this subfamily, the beta chain is common and you can see here that IL-3 or interleukin-3 granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor and interleukin 5 all bind to a specific receptor that has got the common beta chain and they also have the specific subunit receptor for those cytokines and the third one is the IL-6 receptor subfamily which has got the common glycoprotein 130 subunit and in this family, the cytokines included the IL-6, IL-11, LIF, CNTF, OSM and CT1. The LIF is leukemia inhibitory factor, CNTF is the ciliary neutrotropic factor, CT1 is the cardiotropin and the OSM is the oncoestatin M. And you can see that all of the case, they share the glycoprotein 130 subunit of the receptor and they have also specific subunit of the receptor and next is the type 2 cytokine receptor and in this type 2 cytokine receptor only the type 2 cytokine can bind and this type of receptor have total 4 cysteine residue but they are distributed in two different domain and like the type 1 cytokine receptor, they do not have the WS sequence which is conserved for the type 1 cytokine receptor. And this type of receptor can bind interferon and the IL-10 family. They also transmit the signal inside the cell like the jack state pathway in the type 1 cytokine receptor. Third one is the TNA preceptor family. This TNA preceptor can bind to the TNF in the extracellular domain and always form trimeric complex when they are bind. And they have got the transmembrane domain which span from the extracellular to the intracellular portion of the cell membrane. And sometimes this transmembrane domain can be clipped to produce a soluble type of TNA preceptor. For example, the TNA preceptor 1, which has got this type of phenomena that they can be clipped and act as a soluble receptor. This type of phenomena is not seen in the type 1 and the type 2 cytokine receptors. And some type of receptor do not have the transmembrane domain. For example, the decoy receptor 3. This type of receptor 
do not bind in the cell surface membrane they are always excreted from the cell and that's how they block the effect of the tnf in the body and this is how naturally tnf function is blocked inside of our body when the effect of the tnf is not necessary for the body and most receptor need the adapter proteins the adapter proteins are proteins those are found inside of the cell and they bind to the intracellular part of the receptor and convey the signal in this case a tnf receptor associated factor is found to bind to the intracellular part of the tnf receptor this type of receptor is involved with the apoptosis inflammation mainly but also involved in the cellular proliferation survival and the differentiation and this type of receptor expressed by a variety of of mammalian cell especially in the leukocytes and finally they have 27 family members the fourth one is the IL-1 receptor family they are also called the immunoglobulin superfamily because they have got the domain similar to the immunoglobulin and you can see here that this ring type structure or domain is indicating that these are immunoglobulin like domain they are connected to the disulfide bond in this receptor family il1 mcsf c kit are included and in this receptor in the cytoplasmic tail they also need some kinases like the genus kinases to relay and signal through the intracellular pathway and in this case you see that IREC or the interleukin 1 receptor associated kinase is bound to the intracellular tail of the IL-1 receptor and the last one is the chemokine receptor this chemokine receptor is much more different from the other cytokine receptor and all of the chemokine receptor are G protein coupled 7 transmembrane protein. Here you can see that this zigzag line represents the 7 transmembrane protein because it span the cytoplasmic membrane 7 times and the G protein is coupled to this seven transmembrane protein to date 20 different chemokine receptor has been discovered and all of the seven transmembrane structurally and coupled to the g protein and this g protein coupling help for the calcium signaling inside the cell through this calcium signaling they help for the chemotaxis of the cell chemotaxis is a process by how the cell are chemically attracted by the signal because when the chemokine are produced by a specific cell the other cell are attracted by those chemokines depending on the concentration gradient so these are all the five types of cytokine and chemokine receptor hope you have understand the basic types of chemokine and cytokine receptor classification thank you for watching if you feel this is very easy to understand subscribe and like us and also do not forget to share it